Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Ian and I'll be going through a video that will quickly explain what the differences between 2Y, 4Y and HelixNet are. I'll also be giving you a short history on the technologies as well as where their specific pros and cons lie. So to begin, what is 2Y? Well, 2Y in its simplest form can be described as a communication system where the signal path is the same for both talk and listen. This means that if we want to add another person to that line, they will need to be part of the same conversation at the same time. This form of communication is also more commonly known as party line. So what is party line? Well, party lines were widely used to provide telephone services starting with the first commercial switchboards in 1878. And they continued all the way through till the 1990s. Most Bell System subscribers in the mid 20th century in the United States and Canada were serviced by party lines. Party lines were discounted over using a private line, a private line being a discrete line directly into a house, versus more than one subscriber sharing the same line and being able to hear and join all conversations at once. Party lines were originally installed to save costs in wiring and were more prominent in rural areas where the lines had further to travel. Let's take a look at how two wires wired. The term two wire comes from the fact that two wires are used to establish a signal path for both talk and listen. However, a standard three pin XLR is used for connection, the third pin, pin one, being used for ground. As can be seen in this example, pin two carries the 30 volts of DC power voltage, while pin three carries the audio signal. The separation of power and audio ensures that the audio signal remains relatively clear of noise, hence the clear in ClearCom. There is another two wire system in place, which was designed by RTS. They have managed to add another audio duplex signal onto pin two. However, this results in a noisier line, but you do get the benefit of an extra channel per line if you are willing to forgo that noise. Just as a side note, nearly all two wire capable ClearCom main stations can be operated in either ClearCom or RTS modes. Now, if we look at the actual two wire or party line circuit, you'll see that the XLR line is daisy chained from belt pack to belt pack. And much like the party line circuit we discussed earlier, all the belt packs connected to that line will be able to hear and converse with one another at the same time. Now this particular main station, the ClearCom MS702, allows for two separate channels of two wire and the wiring for that would look like this. The MS702 also allows for those two channels to be linked together via an AB link switch. This allows the system to be one complete party line channel or two discrete channels when necessary. And now we move on to 4-wire. Four 4-wire four is the successor to 2-wire and is a full duplex communication system that supports transmission in both directions over separate physical connections. What this means is that four discrete lines are used for a total of two channels and this is where the name 4-wire is derived from. As you can see in this example, it uses the very common RJ45 connector and it only uses four of the eight lines in that RJ45 connection. There are two core differences from two wire. One, the line is not as easily daisy chainable as it is with two wire. While you do see four wire products that can be daisy chained, they are not as common as two wire products. And due to the nature of the wiring, four wire can connect users via peer to peer communication, which means a direct line of communication from one person to another, which is totally private. The second difference, is there's no power running over the line. Four wire audio is both balanced and unbalanced, so it can be used anywhere normal audio would be used. So for instance, it could be used as a stage announce with a public address system. And because the send and return are now discrete, we can now connect directly to audio consoles. Four wire is also a very popular comm solution in the broadcast industry, where it's used to communicate directly to cameramen. And finally, we move on to HelixNet. HelixNet was designed to be the next generation party line system. The system is designed to be as simple to use and configure as a two wire analog party line system while exploiting the flexibility and network management capabilities of Ethernet. This makes HelixNet incredibly versatile in its installation and application. Now, if we take a look at the wiring, you'll notice that while HelixNet utilizes the standard XLR connector, there is both positive and negative 30 volts on pins two and three and the analog audio has now been replaced with digital audio. But being digital, HelixNet enables features like extended passive splits, extended cable distances, and better audio quality, yet can still take advantage of the 2Y infrastructure. There are also some very nice additions, such as visual displays to channels, and menus for ease of configuration. 
And much like two-wire, the system allows for multiple devices such as belt packs, speaker stations and remote master stations to be powered using the same topologies utilized in analog party line systems. HelixNet can also work on pre-existing Ethernet infrastructure. It uses the same wiring standard we saw with XLR, however multiple cables are now paired together. XLR pin 1 connects to pins 3, 6 and 7 and carries the positive 30 volts as well as the first channel of digital audio. XLR pin 2 connects to pins 4, 5 and 8 and carries the negative 30 volts as well as the second channel of digital audio. And XLR pin 3 connects to pins 1 and 2 and connects to ground. So what does a HelixNet circuit look like? Well, we can use either a standard 2Y infrastructure to create the network or we can move to Ethernet and utilize a network switch for distribution and connection points. And due to HelixNet being digital, it can incorporate both party line and peer-to-peer -peer types of communication. So we get the familiarity and instant accessibility of party line where everybody on the line can talk and listen all at once or the four-wire peer-to-peer style of communication where we can set up discrete channels for not only the main station to the belt packs, but also for the belt packs to communicate to one another directly and not need to communicate with the main station at all. And this is the beauty of HelixNet, where all the different types of infrastructure and communication can be used all at once, leading to some very complex and creative workflows. And with that, I hope I've been able to explain the core differences between these different technologies and forms of communication within them. Neither is better or worse than the other, but suit different applications and workflows. I hope this video will help you easier choose which is the right solution for you. If you like this video, please press that like button. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.